Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're going again with uh, Emirates over to Dubai. We'll be exploring how Emirates is in 2024 along with checking out the Emirates Lounge, hopefully if it's open in Sydney. And it's going to be a long one again, 14 hours, uh, but we'll check out everything and hopefully um, everything is up to standard like last time. But let's go to Sydney Airport. Hello everyone, it's Brian Rusty here at Sydney Airport at uh, 3 a.m. and I'm just going to go checking. Um, looks like everything's on time, on track. Uh, the rain just started a little bit, but it's fine, you know. Um, let's just head in and check out the check-in. Alrighty, uh, just walked in and we're going over to number B, no, E or F, uh, figure it out. Uh, I can see just Qantas, over here, um, yeah, it's pretty empty, which is nice. <laughs> Usually, Sydney airport's very busy. Um, that's why I always choose the 6 a.m. flight instead of like the 9.30 p.m. But uh, anyway, let's go and check in. Alrighty, I'm a gold member, so I'm going to be using the business class check-in, which is nice. Uh, given that economy is pretty packed, that's always a bonus um, to not have a line. Alrighty, uh, it's really, really busy here at Sydney Airport. Um, I think around the school holidays, it's yeah busy. Um, luckily, there was no one at the business class counter uh, for the gold also, so just seated and waited until 4 a.m. when immigration opens. Behind me is a very, very long line of people um, because there are two flights: the 6 a.m. flight over to Dubai and the 6:15 flight over to Nadi. So a lot of people, uh, all. Basically going um, through immigration. Um, I think one of the worst parts of Sydney Airport is that nothing really opens until 4 a.m. Even though um, flights depart at 6, so it's a bit of a tight squeeze um, to kind of really enjoy things like the lounge or any other facilities. Alrighty, just past security. Uh, quite a long process, but anyway, we'll be heading up to the Emirates. It seems like the only thing open here is one coffee shop and a few vending machines, so that's important. Alrighty, welcome to the Emirates Lounge. Looks much, much better than the Qantas Club, I have to say. Decorations, everyone's more friendly. It's uh, quite a small place, uh, but let's see the. F I'm very pleased with the quality of the food. Um, if I was traveling business or first, I'll be happy with this um, kind of food selection. Also coffee and a lot of drinks. Um, so I think it's pretty good. Alrighty, um, just finished up in the lounge. Uh, let's go up now over to the gate. And as a gold member, you get priority boarding. Same with business. So hopefully that all pans out and uh, let's go. gate 57 uh, just here at the uh, gold area and we'll start boarding soon it's about 5 um 5 10 yeah 5 12 actually and our uh, boarding should start really soon
Hello, uh, just boarding up. Uh, really nice process. Love this jet bridge um, for the A380. Uh, it is the A380 today, um, so let's just walk down the jet Welcome on board, uh, nice new boarding music, uh, it's raining outside, but let's go through some of the seat feet. On board this new A3D, we have a comfortable headrest which can be adjusted, as well as a comfortable seat, uh, comes with a blanket, um, ample space, a charging sport, um, a life jacket and entertainment, as well as the seat back entertainment. Welcome on board. Um, I think pushbacks, the boarding just began, but pushback should be about 10-15 minutes. Um, I'll leave you with the view, how I'll touch and have a look uh, outside. They just handed out these um, amenity kits, uh, just to the basics like the eye chain, earplugs and uh, toothbrush. There's a bit of a delay today um, because of the wind and rain, uh, but the captain has said there should be no more than like five, 5 to 15 minutes, so we'll see. So it's important that we're taking you some safety features before takeoff, and then you all can get back to our award winning entertainment system. So, here we go. Please make sure you have placed all your bags up here in the overhead locker. Or, if you have smaller bags, you can place them here in front of you. In first class, there are storage areas inside your suite. Sweet. And if you have a laptop, anything, you can turn it off. Then, put the end in the locker. Take off, you need to put away your table, TV and foot rest. Open your window blinds, and all seats need to be completely upright. Also, we recommend you keep your shoes on for takeoff and landing. Please fasten your seatbelt whenever the sign is on. You can tighten the seatbelt by pulling this strap and lift the top like this to unfasten it. We recommend that you keep your seatbelt fastened whenever you're in your seat. And if you're sleeping with a blanket, fasten the seatbelt over the top so that you don't have to disturb you. For departure, please keep your devices on fly mode or switch them off until we are in the air. Should you drop the device, please do not rush to find it. We will be more than happy to help, and this could avoid moving the seats, which could damage your bow. Everyone knows it's now illegal to smoke on board, but just for clarity, this also includes electronic smoking devices. And in case you didn't know, all the laboratories have smoke protectors. If there's a change in coming, you should have oxygen masks here from the buggy. Pull the mask towards you like this to start the flow of oxygen. Put the mask over your mouth and nose, adjust the strap, and breathe normally. And always put your own mask on first before you help anyone else. In the unlikely event of an emergency, when cabin crew tell you to break, lean forward against the seat in front of you, like this. And like this if you're holding an infant. Or lean forward with your arms tucked under your legs, like this. There are life jackets under or to the side of your seat. Remove the life jacket and pull it over your head. Bring the tape around your waist and fasten the front. Pull firmly to make sure it's secure. Only inflate your life jacket at the door when you're leaving the aircraft. To inflate it, pull the two red toggles sharply downwards. You can also inflate or top up the life jacket by blowing into the mouthpiece. There's the light and whistle on your life jacket to attract attention. Cabin crew will give out life jackets or life pots drinks. Take a moment to find the emergency exit nearest to your seat. Look back, as it may be behind you. There are 16 emergency exits on this Airbus A380.
variety just to cough. Um, bit of a bumpy takeoff, but anyway. Um, so, no views currently, uh, because it's very cloudy and rainy. Anyway, I'm gonna do some views later. Um, there's some food service to start soon. Um, I think soon I'll uh, do a laboratory tour, see how it is, and uh, uh, yeah, and then the food. Emirates has one of the best entertainment systems, I have to say, with our information, connectivity, uh, the map, and basically anything you want on the system. There is uh, so much to see and do that uh, you will need to take many, many flights to even explore half of it, I believe. Even with this long haul or 14 and a half hour flight, I could basically only watch like one or two movies. Um, they have so many things to do, and if you want more information, you can always have a look. Um, in terms of the attraction to buy and so many other things. Um, probably most people do uh, tend to look at the entertainment and they even show you the top five uh, movies and shows out there and they have TV shows, movies from many different genres, um, from many different countries. So no matter who you are or where you're from, you'll find something that you would like. Um, and there's always something new to try out because they constantly update the system and they also have music and basically anything that you want so uh, they would have something um they have quite good quality movies movies that i've probably missed at the cinemas or even on netflix so it's good to catch up and they also have games which you can play with other uh, people on the plane or with yourself there are all kinds of the multiplayer and single game uh, games meal service just started. Um, I ordered a gluten-free meal uh, and I'll share a little tip with you. If you want your meal first, order a special meal, um, something like a gluten-free meal or um, depends on different options, um, just so you can get your meal first and you don't have to wait for the whole plate. Um, so basically I want to try it and let you know how it tastes. Alright, first let's try it. Fresh. All right, um, it's basically simple. So, egg, sauce, try it. Look at my plate, Alright, so beautiful. Of course, the is not very hard to get very well. I think it's some I'm not sure if I'm just playing that side, but I'll have a bit of rest and then I'll update you. Lunch service is about to start, uh, so we're going to review that. I think the only, the only issue with the gluten-free meals is that you can't really choose the option. Um, 
I'll just show you the menu now. As you can see, the other uh, people with like non special meals have a choice, uh, but the gluten free one. No. Alrighty, let's try the salad. There was a dressing, like some olive oil dressing. It's like a normal salad. It's nice and fresh. Alrighty, then let's try the green. It's actually really nice. It's um, tender, kind of really like nice sauce, and there's raisins with the rice. Hello and welcome to the lavatory. Uh, not much to show. Uh, the sink. And then, uh, then the best part of the Amaranth is this nice decoration. And then the moisturizer and perfume. Of the toilets. And, uh, the basic bags gone. But then, uh, but the stage to the paper. Uh, that's basically. They just served the like uh, snack, and uh, I think the landing should be in about yeah the one hour and fifteen minutes. Alrighty, they just handed out some hot towels, uh, and now we're starting to descend.
Alrighty, everyone, just landed. Welcome to Dubai. Uh, just waiting for the doors and we'll go. <laughs> just on the jet bridge. Alright, thank you so much for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video and be back with more triple